Have you ever been treated like you don't exist by a lady? You go out of your way to treat her like a queen and all you get in return is several unreplied messages and unpicked calls. This happens to women worshippers often, and I bet you're probably one of them. Imagine being treated like the next best thing after McDonald's. You definitely would get an inflated ego. That is the reality with women, and if you don't know how to humble her, you will be treated like trash and possibly grouped amongst her numerous worshippers. I know that you don't want this, and that's why you're currently watching this video. So keep watching as I dive into how you can destroy her ego and make her start seeing you as a king. You are superior. Act superior. The first way to destroy a woman's ego is by acting superior. Well, you should act superior because you are superior. As a man constantly working hard to improve yourself and striving to be a better person against all odds, it is only fair that you don't behave inferior to a woman who does nothing except make efforts to look good. People may see that as toxic, but it's true. Women consider average guys to be beneath them, so why not act superior when you are actually above her? For a fact, women are hypergamous, meaning that they are naturally drawn to guys who are better than them. In other words, she would have a massive ego if she felt above or equal to you. So what should you do to prevent this? Being at the top of your game is your best option, yes. Strive to be the best at what you do. Whether it's in your career, the sports, or even the gym, the moment that you start making a conscious effort to be a better man, you naturally will begin to see yourself as superior, and by extension, you will act superior. I'm not saying you should try to be someone that you're not just to feel superior to her. I mean, I've seen guys who take out large loans to get nice cars so that ladies would see them as made men. That is not how superiority works. Instead, superiority should be based on how you carry yourself and how you act around others. So dude, get your act straight. Act superior and see her ego deflate like a balloon. Don't be overly excited to be with her. You get all excited and pumped up when she schedules a date. Oh, I'm sure you do there, sport. That's a common trait amongst novices in the dating game. Letting her know how excited you are about spending time with her is one of those actions that leaves her ego swelling. For the record, you are into her like she's into you. Getting all excited to spend time with her, that's gonna leave no room for her to get excited about you forcing her to step back. So, buddy, to become a dating pro, you have to learn to control your emotions and do well to mask them. Even when excited about the date, don't show it. By doing that, she will be the one to get excited by you instead. Now, watch out, as she might throw you a bait of sorts. Seeing your lack of excitement, it would only be natural if she begins to wonder if she's the only one who feels excited about being with you. She may even ask you if you're happy to see her. Well, don't fall for her antics and go about running your mouth about how she's constantly occupied your thoughts for weeks. Play it cool and see her ego kept in check. Don't be a dick, though. Tell her you think about her. Just keep that ego in check. Tell her you're having a great time, but don't tell her you think about her all the time. Don't hit her up right after you two finish having a moment together. Picture this. You take her to see the movies, and it ends with you kissing, smooch, and giggling all around. Now it's over. You're at your apartment. She's at hers. You're wondering if you should text first? Maybe let her know you had a blast. Don't. Being the first to text after having a perfect time together only lets that girl have a boosted ego. So don't be a simp. Give her time to ponder on what happened, give her room to miss you, and at the same time, to guess if she did something wrong. I'm not saying that you should play mind games, but you should definitely play some kind of games. Instead, you should act like a man with higher purpose. Imagine coming from the set date and having so much paperwork from your office desk. It'd be natural for you to forget about texting her, so even if there's no real paperwork on your desk seeing your attention, I'm asking you to act like there was. I'm sure you don't want her to see you as a simp because the moment you hit her up to tell her how you feel and uh, you both had a moment, she would see you as a simp. So, dude, don't call her after having a pleasant time with her. By so doing, you would smash her ego to the hard floor. Don't always validate her looks. You see her in the morning and the first thing you say to her is, you are gorgeous. You may think that you may have made her feel special by passing that compliment, but that's not the case as you've only helped boost her overinflated ego. Women get complimented countless times by men, and the moment that you start sending her compliments too, then she would group you among other pathetic men whom she has little regard for. Now here's a secret. 
no matter how beautiful a woman is, and irrespective of the millions of compliments she gets daily from guys, there will always be one high-value guy who doesn't acknowledge her beauty. And trust me, that is who she's going to want to be with, because in the game of love, we all want what looks so far-fetched, and women are no different. When a guy compliments them, they become proud, they lose regard for him. However, when you fail to acknowledge her beauty, she would realize all the thousands of desperate compliments she's been receiving are worthless. She'd become humble. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you shouldn't compliment her. All I'm saying is those compliments should not be about her looks. You could acknowledge how hardworking or how well-behaved you feel she is. You can keep it brief. You look nice. But don't validate her looks too hard, you know what I'm saying? Set and keep clear limits. Set clear boundaries. This is so important in curtailing a woman's ego and putting her in her place. As a man who wants to be a pro in the dating game, setting boundaries in any relationship you find yourself in, whether a romantic or a platonic one, is going to do the trick. I'm sure that you must have seen relationships in which the woman talks down to the man or behaves condescendingly towards him. Well, that's evidence that the man failed to set clear boundaries at the start of the relationship. It is a fact that women are naturally arrogant. They tend to disrespect people who are free with them. Dating pros know this and they don't let these kind of women get so close to them. They put in the effort to keep these women at arm's length, which is the reason that you see them all acting strict towards such women. And trust me, their actions work. To deflate a woman's ego, you gotta learn to not get too familiar with her. Learn to slow down on the calls and constant texts, say no to some of her requests, and be someone she knows better than to mess with. It doesn't matter if she gets pissed at you. You aim to deflate her ego and you should do everything, even unpleasant ones, to achieve this goal. Tell her the truth without caring about her reaction. A fundamental trick to shattering a woman's ego is telling her the truth, irrespective of her reaction. I can't imagine some men telling lies to women just to get into their good books. They feel they must do this to get her to catch feelings. If only they knew their actions would help to keep our ego above the roof. For the record, when dealing with a woman with an ego, letting her know the actual state of things is the absolute best way to go. If she applies too much makeup on her face and other guys are skipping that fact, telling her how beautiful she looks, be the different guy telling her that she has a bit too much makeup on, or poke fun at her, ask her if she tripped and fell into a Victoria's Secret. If you both are going out on a date and she dresses all slutty, expecting you to compliment her, take a different route by letting her know her dress choice is very loose. I mean, don't tell her that, oh, your shorts are too short, you don't want to sound like her mom. Don't try and control what your woman wears. Come on, man. Anyways, I'm not asking that you act rude towards her just to shatter her ego. I don't think your aim is to humiliate her, but you should show her that she shouldn't feel more significant than you. So, when trying to be honest about something you noticed, just be, be polite. Don't be a jerk. Watch as her ego is brought down correctly. Dress nicely and improve your physical appearance. When speaking of ways that you can bring a woman's ego down without saying a single word, looking good is the perfect way to go. You can start by hitting the salon and getting a nice haircut, or by going through your wardrobe and sieving out clothes that need replacement. I'm saying that from your physical looks down to your clothes, your style should be prioritized. I hit them all some days back, rocking a nice pair of Louis Vuitton jeans, plain white tees, and well-fitted Christian Dior boots. Well, throughout my time there, I would notice one or two stares from the ladies. I just looked that signal they liked my outfit. In no time, I got approached by one who complimented my dress sense and my cologne, and she wanted my number. So I gotta say that dressing nicely and looking good brings you a lot. Women would drop their egos and approach a man who's well-dressed, smells nice, and is appropriately shaved. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that you should take your monthly paycheck to a Louis Vuitton outlet and just to shatter her ego. What I mean is for you to never look rough. Choose your outfit before you go on a date or before you hit the movies. And also, don't forget to rock a nice cologne. Trust me, women would ditch their egos once you get this right to draw your attention. Never be too quick to have sex. That's a significant trick used in deflating women's egos. I mean, I get it. You're acting nice because you plan on hitting that coochie. You, you, you see you're spending on her getting chocolates and expensive jewelry as an investment that you hope to recoup because that's a healthy mentality to have towards women. Well, anyways, I can't really fault you on that one because we've all done it to a degree. However, all I'm saying is that you don't 
have to show that your goal is to sleep with her. That would only make her ego swell. Back in my college days, I had an excellent experience with a girl. It all began when I went to the coffee shop to get some espresso. I noticed the girl selling the coffee was gorgeous, and I didn't hesitate to ask for her digits. Along the line, I began doing what every guy would do to establish a firm relationship with the girl. I took her out. Nice dates, bought her lovely gifts on special occasions, but I never made a move to get between her legs. Now many may see that as me being weak, but I think it was a strategic move. With time, she began to feel I wasn't making the sex move on her because she wasn't attractive enough. At that point, I realized I had bruised her ego, and when I finally made a move to smash, she offered me a platter. The truth is, most girls tend to get so much sexual attention from so many guys. Some guys can't say no when a girl offers them sex, and girls know it. So, being so quick to want sex will only make her see you as cheap, and at the same time, inflate her ego. Look at other women. Buddy. I know you're already confused about how looking at other women when you're out on a date with her could get her ego shattered, but let me explain. By nature, women are naturally jealous, and they would not want to share a man that they're into with anybody else. By looking at other women who are way more beautiful than her when you're out on a date, she's gonna be, you're, be passing on a subtle signal to her, letting her know that you have options. She will be displeased at your actions, and she might try to communicate her discomfort, but if she's into you, she'll drop her ego to make things right. You can step further by having one or two female friends at your beck and call. Yeah. Being around ladies a lot will give her the impression that you're desired by many, making her drop her pride just to be in your good books. And come to think of it, who doesn't like a ladies' man? I'm guessing nobody. Now, there's a thin line between carrying out this trick to deflate her ego and coming off as a womanizer who do goes after everything in a skirt. So dude, don't go overboard with the looking at other women trick so you don't want to give her a wrong impression. I'm sure that you want to see her throw her ego out of the window rather than make her see you as philander, so, you know, tread with caution. Be unpredictable. You want to keep her ego deflated and get her working hard just to get your attention? Being unpredictable is the way to go. Plan surprise visits, take her on dates when she least expects, skip her calls once in a while, shower her with love and attention, and then retract when she's getting used to it. These tactics are going to keep her on her toes with you. Most women tend to be proud of confident guys because they like these guys are predictable. Like, she knows how you would react when she gets you pissed. Or she knows your behavior when you're happy, sad, or whatever. She knows how to manipulate you into getting a new bag or expensive jewelry. And you expect her ego not to be bloated? Well, for sure, you got what you deserved. Being a mystery man is the best way to put her in her place. Never let her detect how the relationship should go. Learn to shake things up once in a while. Remember, predictability is the enemy of excitement, so thinking of it being mysterious would make you lose her. Well, if it does, you have nothing to worry about, as it's better being alone than with someone with an overbloated ego, so... Employ mystery in your dealings with her and see her acting differently around you. See her being submissive. No one to walk away. You usually don't have to do anything to bring her ego down. Knowing when to walk away can settle it all. Now, if you're in a relationship with someone whose ego keeps getting in the way, calling it quits might just be the best option you got. As women with egos can be pretty toxic, and this poisonous trait can seep into you if you stay with them for too long. Note that this doesn't apply to only someone that you're in a relationship with. Walking away from a female friend whose ego is overbloated is also possible. Also, if you meet her for the first time and you notice similar traits, showing that her presence doesn't matter to you, that's perfect. Now, for a lady who's genuinely into you, she'd want to hold on to you and play several mind games just to make you stay. She might even go so far as reminding you of all the beautiful moments that you both had together, promising she'd change for the better if you stayed. To handle this, watch if her confession about letting go of her ego is genuine. Give her a week or two, see if she does things differently. However, walk away if she keeps up with her ego. Reject her. Men get rejected all the time. And a lot of men have lost count of the rejections that they've had in the past years. The same can't be said for ladies, who hardly express their feelings. When she confesses her feelings to you, and you notice some egocentric traits in her, turning her down can help to curtail that. Now, she didn't have to profess her feelings for you before you deploy this trick. You could do the rejection when she asks for favor or requests for help. Picture this. You're at a park. You're trying to relax. And you notice a girl who carries herself like she's better than everybody. Turning down guys who approach her for some chats disrespectfully. Fortunately, she walks up to you 
requesting that you take a photo of her so she can post it on her Instagram. You could be a high-value man by respectfully declining her request. If you play this one out correctly, her ego would be bruised. So there you have it. All the tips that you need to leave her ego shattered. Try not to sleep on them. Instead, deploy them in everyday interactions with women whose egos tend to get the most out of them. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more updates.